Hello everybody and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's play some Europa Universals 4 with the new Emperor expansion as Bohemia. Last we left off, uh, it's the year 1460. Not too much is going on right now. We just integrated a couple of our, um, a couple of our vassals over here. And now the HRE sort of kind of dislikes us a little bit. We're rival to Hungary, Denmark, and... I may put Poland as a rival. I still don't know how I feel about that, really. I prefer not to have them as an enemy, but... We, we don't have much of a choice now, do we? Yeah. Um, there's an ongoing Imperial incident. Italy is probably going to leave the, um, the Holy Roman Empire, so... Not much we can do about that, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, we're just going to let some time pass. We may be able to get a couple wars going on here. We're allied with the Emperor, the current Emperor anyway. Um, and at least it appears his heir will become the new Emperor. So, yeah. We're going to go and take down this army maintenance a little bit. I want to get an improved relations guy just, just to kind of get this um, this debuff here. The annexed member of the Holy Roman Empire. Minus 48 relations. We want to improve that a little bit. So, we'll see how that goes. Um... At least for now, let's see. It's time to abandon Italy. We lose 20 pro authority. Lose 10 prestige. Okay. And I think, yeah, most of Northern Italy is pretty much gone. Milan and Siena apparently stayed, which is interesting. So, this event used to happen a lot later. Used to have until almost like 1500 in order to have that event happen. But uh, I guess that's, that's not the case anymore. So. But oh well. Um, we may be pushing for, I'm debating between going for this and then the military traditions or just straight up. I, I think I may actually go into tech six for all three categories and then I'll actually probably start pressing on for this, this military idea group here. I think, um, that's probably a pretty, pretty good way to go about this. We're not at war right now, so we don't need, we don't have any, any real like dire need. Let's see. We can summon a diet. Sell titles. I don't want to lose any crown land, unfortunately. I prefer not to. Um, all estates gain five influence, gain five loyalty. Sure, let's summon a diet. Let's see what it does. The agenda of the diet. Um, let's see. The clergy are just to build a magnificent house of worship in Praha. The ability can't help but be tempted by the vulnerable target presented by our neighbors in Munich. They're pushing for a military campaign to bring them under our dominion. And the burghers want to expand the marketplace in Vatislav. See, so if we build a, a church or a cathedral in Prague, we would get this. Let's see. Um, Bohemia gained the subjugation castles below on Munich. Let's see. It's actually not a bad idea because I, I kind of did... I had some theories about attacking them anyway. They're actually a little friendly to me right now, so attacking them would... not be the... greatest idea in the world. Um, so I would vassalize them, and then they have allies in Ingolstadt. And Bregenz, who's over here. They're a decent... Uh, a decent power, though. They have some, some decent development, but I don't know. Vassalizing people in the, in the Holy Roman Empire is kind of hard. I mean, even conquest is is fairly questionable. Um, I think probably one of these is a little easier. Yeah, I'll go for building the church in Prague. That's probably fine. We have like 20 years to accomplish that, so I think we'll just do that. What's going on over here? This is a war with Wallachia and Herzegovina. Group mercenaries. Diplomacy. Yeah, I think we'll just rebel back Poland. Um, let's see, Hungary declared war in Bosnia. Is it war with Bosnia and Serbia? Let's see, Polish diplomacy. Let's see, so we get a restoration of Union CB on Poland. Really? I mean, there's no way we're ever going to be able to pull that off. 
We will never defeat them with how much they have. <laughs> we, we would need some pretty serious allies to pull that off. Um, let's see. Austria actually almost wants an alliance. I wonder if we can actually get something with France. That'd be kind of interesting. Let's see if we can improve some relations with Austria. Um, he won't accept a royal marriage. He's got too many diplomatic relations. I do kind of want to take that, just not now. Yeah. I mean, that's a free... Um, it looks like Saxony's lost his... Okay, yeah, so it looks like Saxony's lost his uh, personal union over to Thuringia. Um, he's only to Magdeburg and Nuremberg. So we could attack him for some land if we wanted to. How does Anhalt feel about him? Um, Saxon attitude towards Anhalt. Hostile, Saxon opinion of Anhalt. Let's see, Anhaltian attitude towards Saxony is a rivalry. Okay, so Anhalt, the Emperor, and Saxony are rivals. So I could probably attack Saxony, no problem. I think if we took Dresden and Zwickau, that would not be too bad. Um, now, to be fair, also, Thuringia has no allies right now. Um, I think he just became independent. He's got no legal heir at the moment. Let's see. So if I wanted to attack somebody first, probably... Saxony's not a bad choice. Thuringia actually just allied Ferrara. That still actually doesn't concern me that much. I may want to attack both of them, but I don't know. Let's see how our institution's doing. Um, we may have to develop somewhere. I could do like an edict or something here for the institution spread. Um, we have some points available. Let's see, we're converting mostly over here, right? Right now we're in Opal, yeah. Um, we could enforce religious unity, local men, uh, missionary strength. This would increase our, our uh, bohemian maintenance a little bit. This would speed this up a bit. I kind of wish I had an Inquisitor. This is not bad. Um, we lose some absolutism, but we get some loyalty. The missionary strength plus one. Because I think, I think we get some bonuses in here in our mission tree if we do have... Yeah, we get a center reformation if religious unity is 100%. So for now, I think we're actually going to go ahead and do that. Um, Tarns of heretics and heathens, that's, that's going to be kind of unfortunate. Let's see, we're going to get some loyalty. Equilibrium for the clergy, max absolutism goes down. Going to be broke for 20 years. Okay, and then I think we're going to speed up over here too oh wow they needed to actually cost quite a bit of money hmm. so we lose money when we have maintenance now but then again we have two advisors currently let's see humiliate Austria the cat's meowing at me yeah. <clears throat> Looks like Poland is the target of a coalition of uh, Mecklenburg and Saxony. What do you do? Uh, what am I looking for here? There we go. Oh wow, he's actually pissed quite a quite a few people off. Let's see, what do I have with him? 35. Yeah, no, so I don't have enough opinion of him. Some other people do, though. Um. Let's see, what's going on here with the Ottomans? Yeah, the Ottomans are being kind of strange. They took Constantinople, but they haven't taken the rest of this yet. Which is a little unusual.
Um, like I said, I kind of do. <clears throat> I kind of want this. I really want this. The military tech cost minus ten percent. That's amazing. But I also kind of want to go for these. So I think we'll wait for now. Um, I could develop our capital. That could help us out. Let's see, we can pick something here with our church power. Four score cost versus other religions. Culture conversion cost per relations. Um, religious unity talents are heretics. We pretty much got everything we needed. As far as like military, shock damage received in the National Manpower modifier. I don't really know if there's anything else that like we absolutely need. Um, the war score cost versus other religions is not bad. I'll take that. Because we'll be fighting pretty much exclusively Catholics around here. Let's see. Would it be worth it to attack Thuringia? Um, he's either with Brunswick. He's sort of large. He's actually got a lot of forts around the place, too. Sieging him down could take some time. Um, I can't fully annex Saxony, obviously. I'm not even sure if that would be desirable. But taking, like, Dresden... Maybe Leipzig and Zwickau instead of Dresden, like just kind of having them in Exclave would be kind of cool. I don't know though. I'm trying to kind of gauge who would care more. Like, should we attack Thuringia? Magdeburg, Gosler, and Thuringia. So, Anhalt is an enemy of Thuringia as well, but only Saxony is a rival. So, Thuringia rivaled Anhalt, but Anhalt is a rival of Saxony. Hmm. Let's see, we got Bohemian Noble Rebels. Let's get these down. Um, once we tech up, <clears throat> we should be doing okay. Um, this guy's a target of a coalition of Hungary and Mecklenburg. I mean, that'd be interesting. I doubt they'll declare, but... That would actually be really... Quite a, quite a crazy war. Um, Poland is pretty strong. He's got 26,000 troops. We have 23. Austria does not want this alliance because we're a rival of Hungary. Range of Ball, sure. Electorate of Brandenburg. Let's see, apparently, um... Apparently at some point we get the ability to subjugate Saxony. That's kind of interesting. Humiliate Austria. <clears throat> yeah, I'd rather not humiliate Austria. Let's see, conquer Nitra, restoration of Union, cast this place. So if we own all of Slovakia, we get to um, PU Hungary. Damn, we get a lot of PUs around here. Electorate of Brandenburg, Electorate of Saxony. Yeah, so we could have two electors and as vassals, I guess. Plus the Polish. It's actually pretty interesting. Hmm. Okay, no more rebels, at least for now. Um does anybody have Does anybody have the Renaissance right now? It looks like Italy's about to get it. Austria is probably going to get it pretty soon. Apparently they have von Wurnenbergs on their throne now. Um, but they also now just got a von Habsburg throne or uh, heir. 655. Damn, that's pretty good. We have a, a pretty decent ruler. 463. Or a uh, decent heir. 
Trade efficiency, cavalry cost. Um, yeah, I don't need, I don't need the prestige right now. <clears throat> I'm debating though, should we do this? Should we attack? Because I want to expand. I know Onhal probably won't ask us for the for the um, the unlawful territory, but I don't know. I'm actually going to cancel this edict. This is probably pretty negligible, actually. Now, there is an argument to be made. I should... try to develop our um, capital. And also, we're getting the, the renaissance here. Um, we can get this early. Yeah, let's go and just do that. That's fine. Let's see. Exploit development... Where is it cheapest to develop? Prague is definitely not cheapest. It's like one of the more expensive, 59 each. Um, Vladislav is the cheapest. Producing cloth, innovativeness, farmlands. It doesn't give us that much of a benefit though. This is over here. Yeah, I wouldn't mind developing here just for the um, Just for spreading the Renaissance amongst everything else. Confederacy of Zelina Aura. Years of refusal of the church demands to suppress the Hussite faith has made the papal faction of Bohemia grow embittered. They view him as a heretic. Ah, looks like uh, Hungary's gonna get the event. Catholics in Bohemia seek our aid. Hmm. So it's going to be here and here. Uh, let's go take care of these guys first. Austria's at war with a few people. My one concern about going to war... <clears throat> uh, let's see... Desperate for aid, our Catholic rebels have turned to the King of Hungary for protection. The Catholic estates have now elected Matthias I to be their king, and are eagerly awaiting the arrival of Hungarian armies. Let's see... So it looks like this guy's gonna get a permanent claim over some stuff. Not that he didn't have permanent claims already, which he did. We had a claim on Poznan with the poles. My one concern about trying to attack Saxony is that somebody else will declare on us. We kind of probably should have more allies before. Because we're not, we're not that strong. So, like, Hungary could come after us. Um, he's not part of the Empire, but Onhalt is, I think, his ally. Is he allied to him? Yeah. Poland. So allied to Brandenburg. I would have attacked Brandenburg earlier if we... Yeah, if we were able to. <clears throat> hmm. This guy's a war with Wallachia. Poland sticking some Wallachia. I kind of wish the Ottomans would go to war with the uh, the Poles, but I think he's focusing elsewhere for now. Damn, dude, he's super strong. Holy crap. <clears throat> Looks like Austria has some peasant problems. I 
Man looks ventured into a golden era. Yeah, we could we could attack Saxony. Um, he doesn't have that many troops. Neither do his allies, I don't think. Nuremberg is down here. He's a free city. Magdeburg's up here. This guy's an elector. Looks like the uh, the Palatinate. Looks like they want some uh, emperorship for themselves. Okay, so Hungary fully annexed Wallachia. <clears throat> you have Catholic zealots. Here in Plissen. Yeah, perhaps we just focus on internal development for now. Um, let's see, I kind of want to get this. I think we're going to push these military ideas pretty far. We're 11 years ahead of military tech. And I think we're going to start developing... I think using administrative power as well. I'm debating between local development cost or institution spread. <clears throat> no, actually. Mm -hmm. I think Austria's gonna get this pretty soon. So we'll get it from them. Yeah. So there's not a huge need to develop stuff right now. But, I mean, developing in our capital anyway is always nice. <clears throat> uh, we were discovered here. Oh, looks like our air died. We have a new air now. Hmm. That's unfortunate. This guy's less good. Let's take that. Yeah, so Austria's getting it now. <clears throat> Advancement effort or local development cost? I don't know. Because I kind of want to develop Prague a little bit. We have some extra admin power. I also want to develop Chib at some point because it's got that gold mine. Yeah, for now, I, I guess I'll turn on the institution spread. Generals died. Okay, that should help us out along. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, we have a pretty distinct technology advantage over other people. So, like, Saxony is at, like... Military tech four. So we could attack him and just wipe him and his allies. Like I said, though, I, I am still concerned about... Uh, Poland to war in Crimea, huh? Interesting. I'm still concerned about the Hungarians getting ideas. If we go and attack the Saxons and he gets some ideas to attack us, we'll be fighting a two-front war, and that uh, won't work out too well for us. <clears throat> Thank you. 
And wild development is nice. Last jousting tournament? That's fine. Okay, one more to convert here. Mm. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and take this hit. Um, We have some admin power and we're able to get this up. So I'm not too concerned about it right now. Yeah, we have some admin power available. Probably should have been a plus one this whole time. <laughs> yeah, we probably should increase stability before we did anything else. Okay. Ottomans is still the most powerful country in Europe besides France. Um, apparently France has been excommunicated. Interesting. We're gonna get a Hussite Center Reformation, I guess, pretty soon. <clears throat> Defenestrate the Hussites, the Reformation is swimming across Europe, and our history of unorthodoxy places at the forefront of our theological and political conflict. Administrations of Prague, the Blender Reputation, Mission Strength versus Heretics. That's gonna be fun. Hungarian Union, Pomeranian Conquest, Charlemagne's Legacy. Ramazan. Oh. Let's see, bureaucracy, nice promoter culture, centralized bureaucracy, but the autonomy change. I think I'll take that autonomy change. Um, the burgers, a little disloyal. Let's see. Monopoly on textiles, monopoly on glass. Control over monetary policy, free enterprise. So this doesn't really have any drawbacks besides increasing their influence a little bit. Um, that's probably fine. <clears throat> okay. So we have 100% religious unity now. Let's take this Hussite Resurgence. Let's see, Spider Reconstruction, Trade Efficiency. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I still kind of want to attack somebody, but also I'm concerned about the Hungarians. Um, let's see. Austria wants an alliance now. He's willing to take one. I think we take that. I think we go for that. Let's see about a royal marriage as well. Yeah. I like that. Um, let's improve relations with him. I think we attack Saxony now. Take some territory from him. Probably not a full annexation, but something, something, something good. Okay, let's take a break here, guys, and uh, we'll see how that goes in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much.